Lots of tech media channels have been reporting that M1 Max have been writing abnormally high amounts of data to their SSD, shortening the lifespan of the SSD as a result. Now, if this is true, it's certainly a cause for concern, but we know it doesn't affect all M1 Macs, and we've also had reports of the same thing happening on Intel Macs. So we'd like to find out how widespread the issue actually is, and we'd like your help. Now, if you use an M1 Mac, or if you're an Intel Mac user experiencing the same problem, we'd love for you to record your findings in our survey, and you'll find a link to that in the description. So how do you check how much data your Mac has been writing to the SSD? Well, we want to use a consistent tool to gather data, and so for the purposes of this survey, we're using smart monitor tools, and there are two methods to gather the data. The first is to go to smartmontools.org, click download, scroll down to install the OSX slash Darwin package, and click the here link. Then navigate through the folder structure on SourceForge to get to the DMG, download it and install. Once installed, open the terminal window. Probably the quickest way to do this is to hit command and space, which will bring up Spotlight Search, and then type in terminal. Now, once you've opened your terminal window, run this command shown to get your data. Or if you prefer, you can use our second method. Go to brew.sh and click the copy link icon. That's the clipboard icon. Then open the terminal window, paste the command you've just copied into terminal and hit enter. You'll be asked to enter your Mac password and to confirm that you want to install Homebrew. This will then download and run Homebrew and also download the Xcode command line tools. Homebrew is a package manager that allows you to install command line software that has been pre-compiled and packaged for your Mac. It will also download any other software dependencies that are needed, making the task much easier. Now, you may not ever need Homebrew again, but it doesn't take up much space and it doesn't run in the background consuming system resources. Once Homebrew is installed, you'll also be asked to add Homebrew to your path. Just follow the on-screen instructions in your terminal to do that. After this, we need to install Smart Monitor Tools, which you can do by running the following command in your terminal. Now, once you've done that, you're in a position to get the data we need for the survey by running this command. This gives you results similar to the ones you see here. The data we want for our survey is the data units written and the percentage used. Of course, the figures from one MacBook Air are not enough to come to any conclusions. We need data, and the more of it, the better. So please help with our survey and share the link with any other M1 Mac users you know. The survey also has a few other questions about how you use your Mac, and that will help us to gain a clearer picture of what is going on here. Now, once we have a meaningful amount of data, we'll share the results with you. Of course, to get notified of those results, you'll need to subscribe if you haven't already. So why don't you take care of that now? And if you'd like to go into a deeper dive on this subject, please check out the video on our main channel, and I've popped a link to that in the description.